morning everyone Jim from DIY Home and Gardening we are bang on the 2nd of February so uh, yeah uh, it's quite nice to be out in the garden it's a little bit cold but um, yeah it's, it's nice to get out in some fresh air isn't it get to uh, get and do some things uh, kind of doing a well slight backwards uh, video today um, just uh, showing you some cuttings that I'd taken uh, previously how they're doing and then um, the reverse almost is to show you how to actually do the cutting so uh, let me turn the camera around show you what we're actually talking about right so this is my uh, well flower bed normally that is for the blueberries and gooseberries a bit of um, other fruit tayberry but it's um, it's quite a good little area because it's a, a, a nice soil um, compost mixture it's really good as actually a, a hardy uh, propagating unit um, so these are my choice year snow flurries um, cuttings that I took back in June uh, when I was doing a, a pruning video that hopefully some of you have seen so I've got that little batch there and uh, that batch there growing nicely so I'm just going to dig those out uh, lift them and uh, pot those so you can see how they've developed so um, I shall do that now for you so we'll just go carefully around it's uh, got well, normal root zones to worry about let's just try and that's rooted in pretty well so let me uh, have a dig without the uh, phone on and um, show you uh, what the root structures are like right so they're all pulled out you'll see that it's not uh, exact science how they grow because we've got a couple here with uh, still showing as alive but with next to no well with no root um, let's, uh, let's get these laid out for you Right, so there we have it. We've got basically, uh, well, what do we got there for you? So we should have had nine. Um, yeah, so was, well, we'll say that it's 80% uh, success rate just to make things easy for ourselves, but uh, we all know that it's not uh, exactly that. But um, anyhow. That's not bad going for just doing some uh, basic cuttings whilst uh, pruning back a shrub. So I'm going to pot these up now. I'm just going to do three cuttings into a natural pot. So I'm setting these out. It's going to be three cuttings in each of these pots and then uh, they will be potted up. Well, totally potted up and allowed to grow. Um, and then that will give me essentially one decent... Uh, pot full which can then be used for planting out that last remaining one it's not really worth bothering with so we'll, we'll just chuck that away but uh, yeah so just fill up your pot firm around as you're going to make sure the stems are in an upright position a little bit more so we're just slightly covering higher than where they were sitting uh, in the actual bed so you're just covering up to your first set of leaf joints there so in that way you'll get a nice good root zone form and that will grow quite happily now now we're into February that will grow quite happily and produce a, a decent plant for you so now we've got that is your finished article I'll show you how to do the cuttings right like I said this is um, 2nd February, so uh, choice is looking good. It's loaded with bud in a lot of uh, locations, so uh, I'm not planning to cut off too much. And to be honest, uh, for evergreens, you should only do your pruning between May and September anyway. But uh, I'll just use this as purely demonstration. So we'll just take out a couple of these straggly bits anyway, which won't harm it if he. Uh, You'll notice that I'm just pruning above the top of leaves 
just because we want these plants to stay nice and in check and uh, keep producing nicely so all right that'll do for the time being so we've got a few cutting pieces right so you got to imagine that we're into spring summer mode and this is when we're doing our cuttings so uh, again you do your cuttings at the same sort of time as when you're doing your pruning so may through to the september um, earlier you do them the more they're going to be softwood cuttings as opposed to what we've got now which is really sort of a, a semi-ripe or ripen cutting but it doesn't really matter because there are certain plants that quite frankly will root like a weed anyway and choicer is one of those so in terms of doing a cutting first off you want something that's not got flower bud so you want to just whip off your flower buds uh, ideally you wouldn't have cut that to start with but as a, the buds are so small it doesn't really matter so just do the same on that one there's another bud there so let's pop that off right you want a cutting or oh, element of cutting that's sort of four to six inches in length so here we go cut just below where a pair of leaves are so snip that off and then remove those bottom leaves now the reason, the reason you're pruning to below the, the leaf joint is because that's where the most amount of the growth hormone will be located. So it'll just be in that tip zone there. Strip off your foliage and that is what you're left with if you want to. Take off the top as well. So if this was going to be uh, certainly into the later part of the season so spring into summer and it's hotter then i would definitely be taking more off and i might even take the leaves off as well uh, just because you're trying to reduce the amount of uh, moisture evaporation from the actual cutting um, next stage hormone rooting powder very technical that's what it says on the box or pot Give it a good old prod in there so you get a decent covering, like so. And then use the top as a makeshift dibber. I'll just walk you over to the bed. Uh, so for choice here, excuse the mess, going to get some more soil, uh, grass down there. So for choice here and a lot of shrubs, they, they do better in a, um, a soil based compost so potting compost or in my case just using the flower bed Dig, doing the hole so roughly an inch deep and firm around so you get good contact with the surrounding soil and that's how you leave them and as I say when you're doing your uh, spring to summer cuttings then it will take you through to the following season so um, yeah you've got to allow yourself about uh, six to eight months for uh, root development. And really, that is as simple as it gets. So that's uh, cuttings of uh, choice, yeah. So that was a quick old video there on how to do uh, propagation of choice snow flurries. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so it's really uh, quite easy to propagate certain shrubs. So um, yeah, give it a go. Uh, any questions or um, not quite sure just uh, feel free to give me a message and I'll get back to you um, as always and um, keep it up with your gardening subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing and uh, see you all soon bye for now